Hi, this is a follow-up to my first video with the DSO-138. You see it evolved a little bit. I have get a second one. I built a case. You will find instructions on instructables.com soon. And at the first video, someone asked me, uh, what is the maximum bandwidth you can use? So I have no idea and I will, I will test it. And another one was often, uh, the waveform doesn't look like the same. Yeah, it doesn't look like the same. It was almost the same, not really. But here I now using a um, signal generator. I will use a sine wave and later I will switch also to triangle and square. So let's start. I go to, to see this direction. It's really a cheap one, doesn't work so well, but it's okay. I get one kilohertz, no problem. You see a nice sine wave works. I switch to a square. Square wave also looks good at one kilohertz. And triangle, yeah, looks like a triangle, so no worry at this. So I go back to sign and I want to go to, yeah, I want to go to, but it doesn't let me know. I want to go to 10 kilohertz now. Yeah, looks good here, but I would change also the time base. So you see a little bit more of it. Or less, less I think. So this is a 10 kilohertz signal. Mm, it's also working. Switching to square wave. Square wave already looks a little bit messy, but can also have to do with the caps. Maybe I have to adjust the caps from the board. So this is, I think it's called, no, I have no idea, overcharged or something like this. And the triangle hmm, looks okay now. The sign looks still very good. Now I change to 20 kilohertz, double the frequency. Yeah, 20, yeah, still looks like a sine wave. The square wave getting more and more crappy. <laughs> looks like a little demon with the ears there. And the triangle, yeah, you can still use it. Okay, back to sign and I want to switch to, no, I make a bigger jump. I go to 60 kilohertz maybe. Da, 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 da. 40, 45, 46, 49, 50, 56, 60. So here we are at 60 kilohertz. This is a tone you cannot hear if I plug in a speaker. You won't hear it. So it's already not low frequency. It's already a uh, not really high HF, but it's a high frequency you can't hear, okay? So let's see, I think, okay. I'm already at 10 microseconds for each. So this is the uh, high, highest it goes, I cannot make to go to five or one microsecond, but it's okay. You can still see the sine wave. I switch to the yeah, square. It says square, but this looks, it doesn't look like squared. Looks like a sign that has an accident, maybe. No idea. And the triangle. Triangle, yeah. Triangle looks like, still looks good, but you can see it already has problems to triggering. It is um, wandern, we say in Germany. I have no idea the English word. It's going really this way. So go back to sign. Sign still good, looks the best. I will go to 120 and see what happened. You see the frequency gen is really not the best one. 70 kilohertz, yeah, you can still see the sine wave. Uh, 80, yeah, I think it's still okay. Uh, now at 95, it start to flickering, go forward and backward, not easy to see, but we have the hold button. So if I hold it, it still look like a sine wave at 95, but this is really only good to check if there is a signal, nothing else. But I will switch to square wave. Yes, square wave is really crappy. And at least the triangle. Triangle now 
also get very, very messy. But the sine wave, yeah, still looks like a sine wave, so it's okay for me. So get up to uh, up, not down. That is weird. This is up. This is uh, yeah. This is really cheap crap. I should get a better one. But for my purpose, this is really enough. 120. Uh, I use the hold button. Oh, yeah. Getting the setup. It's okay. Um, it. No, nah, no, nah, okay. It should be a sign and it looks still like a signal, but it's really not very precise. So go ahead, we try it. What happened at. 150? Yeah. Really, really very jumping around, maybe is the word for it. Okay, I go to. Oh, no, now it start to get funny. Uh, I press the hold button. Okay, you see, um, you, ex you expect that each of this line is at the same height, but this is higher than this, this is down. <laughs> okay, this really doesn't look like a sine wave. It looks like, I have no idea, but let's see how the square wave looks now. Okay, that is a little bit funny. The square wave looks more like a sinus than the sign. And at least the triangle. Yeah, let's stop this. Yeah, triangle really has now something like a um, kind of art. If you want to make this, this signal, it could be a little bit difficult to get a signal like this, but it's not a signal that is there. It is only that what the Electronic is showing that this the uh, DSO is showing because it is not fast enough, has not enough sample memory, not enough, not fast enough um, digital uh, analog digital converter, so it looks a little bit messy. We go ahead at this position. My my little was crying and so I go there. Um, you see we're still at 196 kilohertz and we have the triangle wave that looks really funny. I go back to the running. You see the triggering can't do anything now. It's um, This frequency is much too high for the DSO 138. But it's a so cheap device. You get a kit for about 20 euro or 20 bucks. So. And it's very nice to play around with it. I built this little case with built-in battery charger, with built-in lithium, lithium ion battery. So it's the kit and the things that it makes fun to build it. So it's okay with 196 kilohertz doesn't show correctly. Um, 100 kilohertz is still okay there. So if you're playing around with little um, kits or you make little, schematics little projects this is still okay to check it or to see a sick to search for a signal and if you only play with audio devices then uh, 20 kilohertz looks great so that is okay you can only hear from 0 to 20 kilohertz that is what you normally hear and electronics is made for so it's okay that it doesn't show 196 or even uh, to switch again there um, I go up to, let's say, switch to sine wave. We go up to, oh, 237, press hold. Yeah, that is totally not what is coming out of this, but looks nice, another kind of art. So that is what it shows at 237 kilohertz as a sine wave. It's not a sine wave. Even not sure if the frequency shows right. Mm. But let's see how far we can go and what happen if we go maybe to, mm, I should increase it a little bit faster. So 256. Oh, it's making little fishy things there. Oh, maybe if I stop it at the right time, I got a fish. Uh, oh, no, I mean, I, it doesn't matter. So, 
a little fish is saying 260 okay now it's getting 300 oh oh that is funny um i don't know how it makes this but this looks like a sine wave but if you check it it's not 466 kilohertz what it's showing but you see it's not really doing what you expect okay so i think hmm, let's go up to uh, 600 900 one two oh going up to uh, two megahertz and it there it doesn't show any 1.9 megahertz it still shows something that looks like a sine wave but you see i have to get into the voltage and of course it is not 1.9 megahertz so if you would measure this and you uh, don't check it with a proper instrument you think oh there's a one there's a signal the signal is about 100 kilohertz but it is 1.9 megahertz so it's just um not very precise or it is not very near or very close to a professional equipment but it's more fun to build it bye bye Hmm, stop this.